looking back, um, I want to say on, on, on y'all had um the brother. Uh, I don't want to fuck his name up. Is it Raymond Santana? Yes, Raymond Santana from the Zona Radio Five from the Central Park Jogger case, nineteen eighty nine. Y'all actually, y'all actually um was 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 locked up with him. We was all locked up together as juveniles. Me, him, and Bing. Wow. So, uh, you know, that's still a relationship that we got to this day. We say, yo, bro, let's go. He went, you know, he fight, he's still fighting for the people, man. He's fighting for the brothers that's behind bars that, that you know, he fighting for the, the people in the street also, you know, trying to change laws, trying to get shit done. You know what I'm saying? So we got to give them that voice. Yeah. Y'all y'all go check out the Smoke Chance podcast, the episode. We up to episode four. Episode one is Gillian Wallow. Episode two is Dave East. Episode three is Raymond Santana. Last night we just dropped episode four with CJ. CJ, yeah, yeah. I, I just watched that last night. Well, I was, I was, I was, yeah. Um, now, with that, with that being said, right, with um, being being locked up with them brothers at that time, you know, y'all juveniles. Was there any way he was perceived by anybody? Or of I mean, we was kids, bro. Right. So you know, we didn't we didn't have the adult we didn't have the adult mind frame that we got now to to be like, damn. Maybe that didn't happen like that. You know what I'm saying? And right. you got to remember the coverage that they received with that case. You got Donald Trump taking out whole page ads in the Daily News talking about kill him, give him the death penalty. Yeah. You know, so we That's children. Right. At that time, we didn't have all these different forms of entertainment. We had the television. Right. Yeah, that was so it. The television was killing him. Yeah, yeah, okay. So with, a, with a young mind that's not formed yet, I'm going to believe what the television say. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But as we as we grew and as you know, motherfuckers is like whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, homie a good person. Homie's a good solid person. So just to fucking write him off for that was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm, I'm now looking at history. Now because that's history, right? I'm with you. That you that you live through that you live with a person through that history. Like yo, you you did some time with with a historical. I don't know if we want to call it a legal fuck up. Um, so you live through that, like you you, you live through history for real. Of like, course, of course. I, and, and you looking back in your life, what what do you think about that? Yo, know? like 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 now now at this age when you look back, you're like, damn, I lived through some 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 real historic shit in my time that I've been here. Right. But right now we living through some historic shit that 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 that's gonna go down in history with this coronavirus and all that. We all living through this shit. Touche. You know what I'm Touché. saying? So it's like, damn, like, like damn. You you we we all read shit about the the, the Spanish flu and the and the, and the and the Ebola breakout and this and that. But it's like, damn, we actually living through one of them shits that's gonna be in the books a yeah. hundred years from now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. I'm on a call, bro. I'm on a call right now. I'm on a call. We all, we we actually living through some shit. One of them situations that we read about in junior high school in the fucking social studies book. We the people that they're gonna be talking about a hundred years from now, fifty years from now. Real shit. That these people, damn, they, this this at this time, these group of people lived through this horrendous shit that was going on in the world. Real shit. Damn. Yeah. We living through history right now. You ain't lying. We, we living right through it. I'm a, wow, yeah. Um, y'all making a y'all own murder unit documentary? Shout out, shout out. I don't know how you got that. I don't know how you got that. You 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 you're doing your work. I don't know how you got that. <laughs> I don't know how you got that, but we doing it. I just got the trailer about a week ago. I showed it to a couple people. They said, "Man, my head standing up." It's called. From death to life, and it's it's really a story about redemption. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. We're gonna take we're gonna take the people from some of the shit we were speaking about today, and we're gonna bring them to current time. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna tell you how I got that. <laughs> Shout out Gully. <laughs> Shout, Shout out the Gully. Group. Shout out Gully. Shout out to the dribble, man. Um, that's how I got it. I'm, Listen, I'm man, I give, I give a lot of niggas give Gully flack, right? Yeah. A lot of niggas give Gully flack, but I salute that brother. That brother contacted us. It was a few, a few people contacted us, but it was like I said, we vibe people. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. A lot of shit I turned down. Like get the fuck off my shit, man. You know I could imagine. 
you ain't trying to eat. You ain't eating off my back. You know what I'm saying? Certain people that reach out like yourself, if I, if I see the genuineness oh, in it, man. fuck with Thank you. you. Know what I'm saying? Thank you. So Gully reached out. We did what we did with Gully. He said, listen, man, I want to talk to 6-7. You know, 6-7 got it deported to yeah. enter. That man got on a plane, took gifts, went bearing gifts. So for shit like that, like, like, like to me, that's gonna always be that's gonna always be a guy that if he called me for anything, I got him. Yeah, and, you know I'm, what I'm, saying? and I'm, I'm I'm gonna say this. I don't mean to interrupt. Um, you know, me and Gully were cool. He, he helped me out immensely. I did what I could in, in return. I may have disappointed him sometime this summer when he asked me or something. But it was my principle of wherever I was at. I was like, yo, I'm not. I, I ain't fucking with it because personally. Whatever I was going through, like yo, I, I I ain't with it. But so this is my public apology to him. You no know doubt. What I mean? But no. listen, man, we all we all we all got time. You got to take your yeses and your noes the same way. Mm. Ooh. We all got to do that. We got to take our yeses and noes the same way. That's real shit. Yeah, yeah. So you know, at that time, whatever he asked you to do, I don't know what it was. On your moral compass, it wasn't it wasn't what you what you was with. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he might have been upset because it might have been something he wanted to do, but I bet you he understand it now if you call him. I mean, I you know, I, I reached out back out to him because as you're saying, just you know, people that, that have helped me or I fuck with, you know, right now and now I might just send them a yo, hope you and your family doing well, kind of, you know what I mean? Facts. Just sincerely, because you know, I'll be looking at my family, I'll be like, man, I hope I, I hope all these people is good. So, you know, just a simple, you know, well wishes and supreme blessings. Okay. Um, you know. So when you said that earlier, I, I feel you. That shit is deeper than any of this internet shit. And of course. Any other... Of course. Yeah, yeah. Listen, um, man, us us black folks, man, like us black folks, man, we got to connect. We got we got to do it, man. We got to, if you got an avenue that, that can help somebody, then he got you just pass the torch along, man, because these white folks ain't going to do it for us. Not at all. They ain't going to do it. Only thing they're going to do. Is, is uh, what they call it, the vulture shit. Like, vulture, vulture shit. There you go, yeah. Let me tell you something. I'll never give a white nigga my story for free. If you, how you doing, my brother? If you want it, you got to pay for it, cracker. Okay. And that's me. Yeah. That's just me. Oh, that better be like yourself, right. Like yourself, like Gully. I get, I get y'all that. You know what I'm saying? Man, thank you so much. I get y'all that. Whatever y'all going to do with it, y'all do with it. But... Us, never them, you heard? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Um, as you were saying, I want to say I saw y'all. Uh, uh, matter of fact, no, fuck that. You made a post. You got your own strain? Hello. Sour Deuce. Sour Deuce. Sour Deuce, medicated cannabis company. Okay. That's also mine. My okay. partner in the compound. Shout out Wills Turner. At the compound. Where's the compound at? Queens, New York. Okay. Any specific address, anything? Rock, uh. 140-09 Rockaway Boulevard. Okay. I had to go to Queens. It's crazy, right? I grew up in the Bronx in this community, right? But they're trying to gentrify it now. The same places we shot bullets and killed people and people died and drugs were sold. They're trying to gentrify it, so they're trying to keep us out. Yeah. I'm fighting right now to get a spot in the community so this community, okay. my community, could see that it could be done. Yeah, because no sure reason. That's why I was raised. There's no reason that there's no rep representation of a black man owning something in this community. Absolutely. There's no reason for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah. I'm fighting right now to get the to get the uh the space. I'm gonna put a juice bar there. Okay, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, because being healthy is a man look I Health is wealth. If you ain't healthy, man, no matter how much money you got. Yeah, it ain't gonna so matter. You can't take, and you I can't know, take it with you. Like, nigga, you talking healthy, you smoke cigarettes. I said, all right, relax. Uh, look, who you telling? I, 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 drink, I, I drink from time to time, smoke my little cigars, but, you know, um, hey, man, who, who's Listen, perfect? I want everybody that's on here to wish me luck in that battle I'm going through right now with them people so we can have some representation of a black face from this community that, 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 that could give people a sense of ownership. That we can do this shit. We ain't we ain't just gotta go work for a motherfucker. We could do some shit on our own. Well, you well you got it, brother. I'm a, I'm not a person that like to speak things into existence. It's gonna happen. I'm a, I'm a just jump ahead and say uh, give it two years. I don't know. Well, you know we, politics. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to give it two months. 
Okay, I'm, I'm with that too. I'm on the ass. I'm with that too. I'm on the ass. I'm with that too. Okay, two months. Hell yeah. But come, come, yeah, come the end of the year, it's on and pop. You know, also, and also, and also to give give these young fellas, man, these young ladies that's in these communities, a place to go, a place of refuge. If you just want to come sit down for a little while and kick it, you could do that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I'll be standing outside and shit. Exactly. Exactly. Because, yeah. because you know, the police will just roll up on you and listen, man. You know, New York is on fire right now. They done shot five police since New Year's. They done killed two of them. So, yeah. You know they on they on they on it a little extra right now in New York. I I I'm sure y'all are. We 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 had something like that whatever happened here with one. You know what I mean? And yeah, so like you saying a safe haven. You know what I mean for the for the people of your community, your own people. Um, of course, I, I respect that, commend that, man. Um, but yeah, it's gonna happen, bro. You Thank know, you. from your happening. mouth to God's ears. Thank you, bro. Like you said, two months, shit, yeah, two months. You know what I'm saying? Strings gonna get pulled. Money gonna get get dropped, and we gonna get the spot, and we gonna have it up and running. Deuces, juices, deuces, juices. Okay, hell yeah. Um, shit, I'll be honest. With you. I'm kind of out of question. Let's go, man. Whatever, whatever you want to ask, ask. I'm, I'm giving you that alley oop right there. I'm, 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 I'm job, I'm job out of questions because I ain't no, no, um, 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 prison kind of dude at all. Like, okay, okay, that's, long as, that's cool. I, and keep God, it. God bless you that you didn't have to do that. I'm, I'm going to say it like this. This is what I tell everybody. Last time I got arrested, I had to sit down like 40-some days over. They got me like two days before Christmas on a no-bed, right? I'm 30 years old. I got wife, kids, and shit. I'm That's like, yo, all more. these things, huh? That's when it hurt more. I'm like, yo, I've attained all these things legally. This one little situation... About to jeopardize all that, man. Look, I ain't, I ain't finna break no law no more. You know, you know what? These forty, these forty days have cured me. I ain't breaking law no more. I, I ain't with this. I ain't built for this shit. So, like, I, look, you got it in forty days, right? Some niggas get it in forty years. Mm. And I tell niggas, it ain't about fear. Prison ain't about fear. Prison is about you sitting down with yourself and saying, "Damn, I'm better than this." Yeah, I'm better than this shit right here. Because you. When we raised in the hoods, that's like a badge of honor. Mm -hmm. I went there, I held it down. You know, nigga, bop, 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 bop. I rep my block, I rep my hood, I rep my that, 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 that. That shit is a badge of honor. We taught that that's a badge of honor for us. Right. But that shit, that shit should be a badge of shame. You know what I'm saying? We were, we get welcome home from prison better than little, little Joey get welcome home when he just graduated from college. Yeah, you ain't lying, yo. You know what I'm saying? We get welcome home from prison. It's more open arms than the motherfucker actually doing the correct thing. The military, college, whatever it may be. We right. welcome home us better than we welcome home them. Man. And we got to change, you know, we got to change that shit, man. Absolutely. We got to change that shit, man. We definitely got to change that shit. Absolutely. Um, yeah, because I mean... As you say, I'm sitting there like, yo, I have a home with a nice bed with a beautiful woman that can cook her ass off. I've been eating on this raggedy ass cop, these funky ass niggas eating this funky ass food. Oh, yo, I'm cured. Like, yo, just get me a, get me a habeas corpus. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what it is with us, man? Once we know some, once we know better, once we know better, you held to a standard to do better. So when we young and we, we we go through that shit, if that the shit, if, the, if these are the things that we value in, we like, all right, fuck it, this is part of the play. Right Sit down is part of the play. But once you reach a certain level in life, where like you said, you obtained a home, you've the, you've made yourself a family, you've made yourself the breadwinner for that family, and then something like that happened, you like, yeah, as you, as you because, said, I felt shame. I felt because shame. I came home from the murder. With the same mentality. Mm. Back to the same shit. I had to go sit down again for five years. But I stayed home for three years. And I put all those all that shit in play. We just spoke about it. The crib. The family. The woman. The, the, the. So when I had to go sit back down. I'm like wow. I let everybody down. Yeah. But yeah. most importantly. I let myself down. Because. I'm a smart fucking dude. You know what I'm saying? It's just I didn't let go. I didn't let go of that nineteen-year-old mentality. 
I carried that shit with me through all them years in prison for the murder. I carry, I just kept carrying that shit with me because I ain't want to let it go. I ain't gonna lie. But this time I wanted to let it go. And I once I wanted to let it go for me, not for my girl, not for my moms, not for my kids, but for me, shit was different. Hey. Shit was different. And and, and that, that to me that hits in so many aspects. I mean, if, let's say I'm gonna go left a little left field with let's say we're talking about people with addictions, like drugs and alcohol and all that other kind of shit. Yeah, you gotta get to the point where you're doing it for you. Like that's it. you can't do it for moms and kids, no, but you gotta anything in this world, anything in life, that's just a life thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. You could want, like we spoke about it earlier, you could want me to do some shit, but until I wanna do it, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna get there. Yeah. Hell yeah. And I just I really just want it. I want it. I didn't want to have to live like that no more, man. I didn't want to have to wear. When the police stopped me now, this dude, I pulled my ID. I give them my light. I didn't have a license till I was thirty six years old. Wow. I had a bunch of cars. Now they pull me over. Look, I go like I pull a wallet out. I'll be like, I'll be happy. Like, hold on, nigga, I got a license. You want the insurance too? You know what I'm saying? I'll be happy to give them my shit now. You know what I'm saying? And I tell them, I'm like, listen, man. I'm a law-abiding citizen, but you can search the car. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm just telling you. I'm a business owner, blah, 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 blah. And that shit feel good when you ain't got the, damn, did I leave something in this motherfucker? Damn. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Search this motherfucker for five hours if you want to. Ain't nothing in here but the parts they made it with. <laughs> you feel right? Like you, get, you, get a different, you get a different sense of esteem about yourself. Absolutely. When you ain't having to look over your shoulder, it's a bit. It's, it's almost free. It feels free. You feel free. As free as we gonna get in this motherfucker. Yeah. True indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. free as we gonna get, bro. Yeah. But um, listen, man. Shout out hip hop biggest fan. Man, thank you. Camp support you. Hood therapy support you. Drink champ support you. Thugged out Thursday support you. The MU documentary coming soon. We got some shit for y'all, though. All you niggas got Netflix because you like fucking niggas' daughters to Netflix. Tune in. See it. Take a walk with us. See niggas at the bottom. See niggas at the top. See niggas in the jailhouse. See these niggas in the hospitals. And see niggas redeem they stuff. Because we all redeem, my brother. Every one of my brothers, we are fucking redeemed. And that shit is like a wonderful feeling that this these last two years, two, I came home in 2019. Okay. Well, since then, everybody been landing. And it's like, I took a, we took a picture one night. I said, damn, we ain't all been together like this in like 30 years. Wow. But everybody is moving. Everybody is doing what they got to do. Ain't nobody on bullshit time. You know Man, what I'm saying? That's, that's so wonderful to hear. And that was part of, after I did my research, like I said, we tried to do my research, man. Like you said, a story of redemption. That's it. Um, that's the key to the whole shit, man. It ain't about how many times you fall, man. If I fall 10 times and I get up 11, guess what? I won. Yeah. Fucking right. Um, with, with all that you just said, bro, I, I, I'm... We I out, think we, man. I look. think we done. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I think we done. What's good, brother? I'm good. It's Lex, brother, right? Yeah, I'm right here if you're around. If you're here. I bet that's cool. Just hit me. Can I can I can I call you back in two seconds? I'm on another call. Two seconds, bro. Yeah, we about to be All right. bro. Man, thank you so much. Um for the time and opportunity. I'm here. We're here. Anytime you need me, reach out. Whatever you got going on at B More, we can shoot down there and support you with that. Man. Vice versa, you're always welcome to anything we're doing up here, my brother. I appreciate that. Sincere. One love. I, I would big, love to get man. tickets to your joint, but I got I got a host of a female cypher on the 12th. I was thinking about getting tickets, but I got something to do that day. Listen, but, we're going to have plenty more. <laughs> my man. But thank you so much, bro. Man, love, bro. You and yours, supreme blessings. Always. One Peace. love. Yes, sir.